Hello, welcome to this video. It's a bit different uh, from my previous videos. Uh, I was thinking of implementing defer in C++. I basically like the idea. So, uh, uh, in languages like uh, Go, for example, you can basically uh, tell the compiler uh, to defer the uh, deletion or the cleanup of resources just after you uh, uh, basically acquire them. So, uh, <clears throat> let's create a main file for the moment. So, let's say main.cpp and basically defer would act something like uh, if you had a pointer. Uh, heap allocated uh, memory, for example, uh, new int i, for example, you can do something like defer and uh, something like delete i, and this will be basically carried out at the end of the scope. I think we can add it uh, as a, a std function into some data structure, so let's uh, see how this could look like. So uh, we'll be using a std function, and let's uh, for the moment use a vector, and uh, let's create a class called defer. So uh, if we had a vector here, uh, std function. And uh, void, and let's call it funks, and this will be a private member. So the rest is public, and the uh, public constructor, which is uh, just the default constructor, which does nothing basically. We'll, be, we'll basically push values into the uh, vector here using a uh, the uh, parentheses operator. So. Uh, I like to deal with uh, uh, temporary functions since we'll be using lambdas and just push into the uh, push back and F and then to run uh, through the uh, vector here at the end of the scope so uh, in the destructor of our defer uh, class. So uh, we want to go basically at the reverse uh, order of uh, construction since that's how basically stack variables are destructed. So uh, let's uh, say for example uh, we can use auto since we're using function uh, lambdas uh, which are supported since uh, C++ 17, uh, 11 sorry. So we'll say uh, funks dot r begin funks r end and this basically just iterates and uh, calls the functions. So that's basically it. Uh, let's uh, try this out now. Um, let us uh, here say, for example, we instantiate function here, defer, uh, the, uh, an object defer. And here we can say defer, and we'll pass the lambda here. So we'll pass the uh, pointer. And we can say delete i. And if you wanted some output, to just check the order of things. So, include my stream. Just say here, for example, resource. And Basically, we should see this after the output from here. So, 
let's say hello okay if you wanted to run this okay so basically the resource gets deleted after the output here so this is the order that uh, we wanted and uh, so that's basically it for this video we can also create a, uh, a single header implementation here so if we just remove main and uh, add the pragma once for example We can also remove this. We can create. So we'll rename this. H. And we'll create a main.cpp. Defer. We have to instantiate it first. So and here. Okay. So this also works. So that was basically it for this video. We can also just rename this uh, to .hpp so everyone knows that we're using basically C++ and here for .hpp. That was basically it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.